This is breaking news. 2024 Tomy Awards predictions. What should win and what will win? Will it be a stereophonic sweep? Will Hell's Kitchen triumph? The Tony Awards promise to be highly competitive. Here our writers debate who and what will emerge victorious. It's a Tony Awards musical mystery. No one musical seems an obvious winner at Sunday night's Tony Awards. Alicia Keys' musical Hell's Kitchen has the most nominations, 13, while The Outsiders, based on Southeast Hinton's classic 1967 novel, picked up 12 nominations. The top play contender is clear. David Agnew's critically adored play Stereophonic, about a 1970s band rehearsing and combusting in an atmospherically rendered recording studio, leads the play category by a deserved country mile, picking up 13 nominations. It has also, hooray, been granted a performing spot at the show. Going out live on CBS at 8 p.m. ET, having initially been denied one. In a boisterously packed season of show openings, one notable snub was for movie star Steve Carell, locked out of the Best Actor play category for his title role in Uncle Vanya. His co-star William Jackson Harper beat him to the nomination instead. Danny DeVito was also snubbed for his role in the poorly received I Need That. Also nominated were Leslie Odom Jr. for Pearly Victorious, a non-Confederate romp through the cotton patch, Succession star Jeremy Strong for An Enemy of the People, Leif Schreiber for Doubt, and Michael Stolberg for Patriots. The best performance by an actress in a leading role in a play category is a vibrant list of bold-faced names. Sarah Paulson for Appropriate, her first Tommy nomination, Rachel McAdams, Mary Jane, Jessica Lane, Mother Play, Betsy Adam, Prayer for the French Republic, and Amy Ryan for Doubt, A Parable. Despite its strong showing in the acting categories, Doubt was locked out of the Best Play Revival category alongside a similarly unloved Uncle Vanya. In the highly contested Best Musical category, where 15 productions were vying for nominations, the five productions nominated were Hell's Kitchen, Water for Elephants, The Outsiders, Illinois, and Suffs. Locked out were shows including Lempica, Days of Wine and Roses, The Notebook, Here Lies Love, Back to the Future, The Musical, and The Heart of Rock and Roll. The highly favored Stereophonic was nominated for Best Play, alongside Jada's African Hair Braiding, Prayer for the French Republic, Mary Jane, and Mother Play, while Patriots was locked out. Five of the seven actors from Stereophonic were honored in the featured actor categories. Below, The Daily Beast's Tim Tiemann and Kevin Fallon discuss what should win and what will win. Tim. Kevin, it's time. Tommy's time. We can talk about it all. Jessica Lange's disco dancing, just Jessica Lange on stage, acting, being Jessica Lange. The Outsiders, in which I just sat thinking, you want to leave Tulsa. Leave Tulsa. Hell's Kitchen, with Kesha Lewis shaking the theater to its foundations, and yet the stupidest riot ever seen on stage. The onward charge of the masterful stereophonic. The amazing acrobats meets crappy model elephant in Water for Elephants. Suffs, transformed from its drab and dreary public incarnation to a still earnest Broadway firecracker. And the divine merrily we roll along, which I was so enchanted by at New York Theater Workshop, then worry about its transfer to Broadway. What if it lost something? But Jonathan Groff, Daniel Radcliffe, and Lindsay Mendez just had the best emotionally ringing chemistry on both stages. How was your season? Keevan, I don't want to sound like I'm in an emotionally fragile state, but what struck me this season is that I cried so much. You mentioned Jessica Lange and that performance, plus from her two Titan co nominees, Sarah Paulson, for Appropriate, and Rachel McAdams, for Mary Jane, just devastated me. The pure emotion in the incredible vocals of Hell's Kitchen and the Outsiders gutted me. The dancing in Illinois, every part of the impeccable Merrily We Roll Along. It was a really emotional season for me. And then there's stereophonic, which didn't leave me crying, but left me spellbound. What an achievement. That has to be the big Tony winner of this year, right? Tim, I totally agree. Oak, big breaths, drink of choice beside us all. Let's get into it. Here's a story. I saw the off-Broadway production of Stereophonic the same day as Here We Are, the final Sondheim musical. Stereophonic in the afternoon, Here We Are in the evening. At the beginning of that day, all the anticipation was focused on the latter, what would be the master's final words to the world be? But at the end of the day, the thing that my friend Michael and I were speaking about in rapt tones was stereophonic. Over three hours long, meandering, dense, it is the tale of a 70s band as they make an album, but really fall apart, and somehow stay together to finish the hat. 